very well done for getting this far. That's very, very good indeed. Now you've got all your chords. So now we're gonna move on to something quite musical and that's changing chords so we can actually play a song. Now when you first try to do this, it's pretty difficult, you know. You've got to remember the shape, you've got to get to the next chord and depending where it is, that might be a bit uh, tricky. Just take your time. It's something you'll need to go over and over again. So first of all, first two chords we're gonna have a look at is a G chord going to a D chord. So when you're practicing changing from the G to the D, try and use that thing we did in our pro tip for the G chord. Play the G with those four fingers. All right. And then when you move to the D, just leave that finger on if you can. You might not be able to do that first. And then you've got D. Just remember with the D, strum from the D note. So we've got G and then the D. Make sure everything is ringing. All right, that is a very good tip I can give you because otherwise, if your chords are kind of sounding like this and you get used to changing like this. Now, here not everything is ringing there some some notes are some notes are all that will happen is you'll be very very good at sounding very very bad <laughs> so try and get everything ringing and sounding really really good so once you've got that let's move on to our next two chords which are going to be E minor and C all right, so E minor to C. Now, a lot of times thinking about changing chords, it's really about how you think of things. So I think, here's E minor, I'm gonna move this finger down to the second fret here, and then my third finger goes up to that note, that one goes down. So just try that with a bit of repetition, if you can, to E minor, let it all ring, and C. And that's important to let it ring. You don't have to strum. It's obviously harder to change the chords when you're strumming like that. Just let it ring, make sure everything sounds great and you can change the chords. Don't be tempted to change too early if you're going four. So I say don't, don't try and change on beat three. Keep it going. If you can't do it, just go slower. Okay, hope you did all right with that. Now, we are going to put everything together. So we've got G going to D, then we had E minor going to C. Now we're gonna try and put the whole thing together. Now, just to remember, there's a few things you haven't practiced. So we've gone G to D, but of course you haven't practiced going D to E minor. And then of course, when you get to the end and you get to that C again, you've got to go back to G. So you can do a little bit of practice with that, but we'll try and put it together really slowly. So we're gonna play G for four, D for four, E minor for four, and C for four. So let's start with what we know, which is a G. I'm just gonna strum that, let that ring. I'm not really in any time here, by the way. D. Good. Now we've got to go to E minor, so there's really nothing in common with this chord. We've just got to try and move up, just practice that little move, D to E minor. If you have a trouble with any of these chords, that's the good thing to do. Just go D, E minor, D, E minor. Just do that for two minutes and then stop. All right, so we've got G, D, and finally a C. All right, now the tricky thing, as I say, is once you get to the C, you've got to go back to the beginning again. That is the hardest change of all, because C to G, completely different shapes, whether you're using that G or that G, there's really not much there that, that can help you with those two shapes. So let me just play through that. I'm gonna let everything ring for four beats. So we we'll try and stay in time. You might need to go really slow for this. So if I go one, two, three, 
four. the hard bit to G. So those changes that we haven't practiced, you know, D to E minor and C to G, especially that C to G, that comes up in lots of songs, so you definitely want to make sure you can do that. As tricky as it is, just take your time with it and try and get everything ringing. And the best thing is try and count, stay in time. Really, you know, the best advice I can give you with changing those chords, because it really is the essence of guitar playing, because very seldom do you get a song with just one chord in, you know, <laughs> some songs have got more than others. So just practice. It's something you can do while you're watching the, the, the telly too, you know, just go from one chord to another, just do it for a couple of minutes and, and you'll get it, I absolutely promise.